Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'll be playing some FC24, which is basically FIFA 24. It's just being rebranded now. Now that um, EA has dropped the FIFA branding or license. Now, but it's pretty much the same stuff. I'm just gonna quickly go through the in-game settings, what I'm using. Um, very, very lazy in terms of the options you have available for a PC game, but it is how EA kind of treats their PC community. It's not great. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160, 120 hertz refresh rate, no frame cap, uh, vertical v syncs off, and no dynamic resolution being used. Cutscene quality is at full frame rate because if you don't, if you put it to half frame rate, it will lock the uh, cutscenes to 30 FPS, which they usually do on consoles, I believe. Um, I'm using the strand based hair, so it's like the really high realistic shade of hair and everything else is at ultra now they don't give you much options so there's no even real pc options like anti-aliasing um anisotropic filtering things like that are an ambient occlusion you don't have any say um, which is pretty poor especially for a uh, engine like frostbite that's been around for a long time and uh definitely have um the option to adjust these things they just don't want to include it in the pc version of a football game unfortunately um, but it's just another year of FIFA really. Um, I refuse to call it FC24, it just doesn't feel right. I was going to do a single match. So it's still on the Frostbite engine. Um, there isn't really too much more I can say about what they've changed. They have took the time to um, basically add like loads and loads of new animations because they've done a lot of motion capture of real teams training, like real professionals. So you should see a lot of more clean, authentic movements. But uh, apart from the extra motion capture and things like that, um, I don't really know too much more about the game. I am being Manchester United, that is my team. We're not playing too well at the moment, but hopefully things will get better. I'm gonna play Arsenal. And uh, I just love beating the Arsenal. I was so happy when they didn't win the league and that's not me hating. It's just the Arsenal fans, they just give it so large. And when it, they're like the most delusional fans on earth, in my opinion. So it was very nice to see them crumble at the last hurdle. And uh, yeah, I was very, very satisfied with that. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into team management. Let's just see what kind of squad I've got. So we've got Martial up front. That's not happening. I'm going to put Rashford up front and I'm going to take Martial off the left wing. And I'm going to put Sancho there. What else have we got that I don't like? Lindelof. Nope. Where's Rafael Varane? He can go there. We got Diego Dallo at left back. But our best left back is Luke Shaw. Um, Wamba Saka can be at right back. That's fine. Um, Ericsson and Casemiro. That's not too bad of a midfield. Um, but I think I'll put Mount Mason Mount in the squad for when um, Ericsson gets tired he's a bit getting a little bit old now so he isn't gonna last the full 90 minutes um, what else now Nacho can just come off the team starting line up completely he's just not ready yet for the team Hoyland as well he's just not ready yet he's one of our new signings we don't really know how good he is yet um, I think that's it I'll leave the squad as it is that will do let's get straight into it so I just want to quickly show you my camera because a lot of people always ask me what camera are you using. So I'm using the tactical camera, the tactical focus um, camera if you're doing uh, player lock, but I'm only going to be playing it normally, so that won't matter. So the tactical camera is the default camera. Old Trafford is the venue, and this is a confrontation with genuine historical significance. As far as this match is concerned, who's going to come out on top between Manchester United and Arsenal? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so they've done a lot of well, like uh, feel the build up cutscenes, which I, I kind of like. I think that's pretty good. Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone. And joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester United up against Arsenal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside. I'm on Sancho. Two teams full of quality. 
an interesting matchup and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. And I got caught in between two players there. So I was going to say, if you're wondering why my MSI afterburner is not showing, it's because um, I don't know what FIFA has done, but you can't use third party overlays in the game. I think they're just trying to deal with all these cheaters that use dodgy software. So the only way I can show you guys in-game performance is to use the GeForce Experience overlay, um, which doesn't seem to be blocked, so that's good. But it's kind of limited in what I can show you. Okay, so it's raining. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in oh, man. field. And the That's not a good pass. Is Edward I'm lucky I got that back. Okay, Bruno Fernandes. Oh, back towards goal. I couldn't quite get a good shot on. Arsenal are playing some decent football this year, um, so I'm not knocking them. They're actually doing a lot better than us. We didn't do as bad as I thought we would against Bayern Munich the other day. Oh, what a goal. Oh, I didn't go in. I thought it was in. Oh, it's unlucky, Christian Eriksen. I, I wanted to see thought that was a goal. Rashford. Oh, good save by Ramsey. Ramsdale, sorry. But yeah, it's a positive start from the team. There is a little bit of a frame stutter when you go from cutscene to general play. Um, I'm not sure if that's still the case if you cap the frame rate to something like 60 or 120. Well, I've got it completely unlocked, so there is a little bit of a stutter there. But this game has never really been difficult to run, as you can see in general play over 200 frames per second. So it's not too bad. It's, to, it's when you're close up. That's when the game becomes kind of demanding. Yeah, we have. We get the ball from Saka. He's the danger man. Come on, Sancho. Yeah, crossing. Oh, it's poor. Russia didn't really make a good effort to break into the box, to be fair, but still, that was a poor cross. Oh, come on. I'm missing easy chances. I should be 1 0 up at least. Have another look at that. It was a good reverse through ball by Sancho, but it was a great save. It's a great save by Aaron, Aaron Ramsdale. Yeah, I like that. The way the water just dropped off the ball as it got saved. So they really, really added a little bit more detail to the, the close ups. But generally, the game looks about the same. Let's put it away from the keeper a little bit this time. He's driven in the corner. Martinelli's got mad pace, so I know. Can't really take him on. He's got to try and anticipate where he's going to go. Come on, Rashford. Oh, I wanted to put it on his left foot. I don't know why he took it on his right. But it's been a positive start for Manchester United. I just need to uh, take some of the chances I'm creating. I need to actually take one of these. So if you're wondering why I'm playing the game so early, I'm using the um, EA... Uh, pro in a good area. Uh, 10 hour I think you get early access by like, 3 or 4 days so if you've got EA access the pro version you can get access to the, um, the game now oh come on 
Ramsdale is on fire today. He's keeping everything out. I want to do a short corner. I've been useless from the corners. I'm going to try and bring... What's the button to bring someone close, close to you? Okay, I'm just trying to get it to one of my players. Corner kick played in. Struggling to get it away. Martinez. Well, they're not shooting with a defender. It's just got happening. That was Sancho. And he read it well defensively. Arsenal are hanging in there, though. Martin Erdogan. Oh, man. Possibilities. Quickly, quickly that shut that down. Oh man. Trying to do a counter attack there, but it all fell apart. Did well enough to put Odegaard in a bad position. He couldn't take the strike how he wanted. The face scans look really well, really, really good though. That really does look like Onana. And sometimes with some of the newer players that ain't too well known, they don't generally have accurate face scans, but obviously EA have taken the time to make sure. Apart from the kind of stutter when you're changing from cutscene to the general play. General play feels very, very smooth. Who can he pick out? A right. good and fair challenge. Oh, I was nervous there, man. Arsenal got me under the cosh at the moment. Saka and Martinelli are probably the only two players I would take from the Arsenal squad. Everyone else, I don't really care too much. Oh, we need to build up some good play here. Slip Sancho in. What a goal. Beautiful. It's about time. The slip Sancho in. And that's a nice finish shot. This Ramsdale's been keeping everything out. I weren't missing that. Sat Ramsdale down and clipped it past him. Okay, 1-0 Manchester United. Let's see if I can build on this. It's always nice to hear the authentic chants. Okay, see if I can get Tancho in again. Oh, I just ran out of time. It could have been 2-0 there very, very easily. Often the case, Jaden Sancho, so difficult to contain in the first half. What did you make of his performance? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal. I think his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. Yeah, he, he's probably the standout player in the half. I'm loving all of this kind of mid game and um, start and um, build up. So, these behind the scenes stuff that's. A nice little addition they've added. Even you can see the commentators at the side. I think that's Alex Scott, I think. Or maybe someone someone else. But yeah, they've done a lot in between the match, which is uh, nice to see. I'm not going to make any substitutions yet. I'm going to try and get one or two more. Come on, Rashford. Ooh. Didn't quite get the accuracy I needed. Let's see how far away I was. Yeah, the defender kind of blocked off my vision, so 
I should have tried to get a bit more space. But I'll give it to EA that the close up um, scenes, the cut scenes look really, really well detailed. They've definitely improved um, the graphics of those. I think I'm offside. Oh. I'll give Chris and Ericsson another 15 minutes or so before I change him. And over comes the corner. Punched away. They'll repeat the threat. Corner again. Yeah, I get another one. Try aim for Casemiro or Varane. I dropped it, but somehow I got it back. Jesus. Come on, Rashford, man. You can't just be losing the ball like that. Ran into trouble. Actually, I said only two players. Martin Odegaard is actually pretty good as well. So I kind of rate that dude. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Kai have what was that? Oh, damn, Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, he's a quality signing for Arsenal as well, but I don't really like him because he's a previously a Manchester City player. But he is a good player, though. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Okay, Arsenal back in the game. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1-1 one, one here. Are oh, we going to have to change that? Casemiro. And where are my Just players? Everyone's that. too spaced out to Jaden bring... Sancho. People need to be a bit more tight. After that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. For Lange. Well, oh, it kind of worked out while I was trying to do the one-two. Oh man, he tried to skin me there. Good defending. Come on, Sancho. Alexander Zinchenko and Havertz. Ooh, that did need saving. That did need saving. Gabriel Jesus trying to get another one. I think he's right footed though, so but still. Onana with the slit slightest of touches has kept it out of goal. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh no, no way. Who was that? That might have been, might have been Martin Lee. I'm not too sure. Well, they love him, and Arteta loves them. It's great scenes here. Yeah, it was Martinelli, man. He's a quality player, though. I actually rate Martinelli, so I'm not surprised. Just asking for someone to go and meet it, and then. Well, ahead of though, he's pretty far out, but he's just lobbed the keeper. It's a great goal. Oh man, I'm two one down now. I need to get back in this game. Back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it two one. Come on, man. Why are you, man, just... Our defence is moving stiff. Lastly, time tackle. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Rashford. Oh, what a save by Ramsell. Ramsell's not even that good in real life. I don't even know how he's keeping all these shots up. I think it might even be time for me to make a substitution soon. Oh, what a save. Okay, let's change Rashford to bring on Martial. It's a bit more fresh. Will 
Okay. Let's see if Martial can have a bit more luck. Don't know what's happened to Martial over the years, man. He's just started with a bang. He's just loads of injuries and he's just kind of faded out. He's driven in the corner. In the corner. Too close to the goalkeeper that time. Gabriel Jesus. And take it away. Oh, my days. I was so lucky that there was a player there because Gabriel Jesus would have skinned me there. Anthony Martial. Go for it. Oh, come on. Couldn't quite get enough space to take a clean shot. Oh, what a goal. Sancho again, and it's 2 2. What a goal! Just turn him. Yeah, barely went in, but man, look how good that looks when it's close up. The graphics are so awesome. What a goal! And it's 2 2 back in this game. Just need to score one now and try and get the win. Oh, come on now, Arsenal still got the ball. I have to start going to ground because these guys just holding on to the ball. Okay. He played advantage, but I did earn a yellow. I was a little bit too late for that challenge. Let's take Casemiro off now. He's a little bit tired. I should probably bring off Christian Eriksen as well. Bring on Mason Mount. I should have hung. I should have hung on to that. Come on, someone close him down. Oh, what a strike! They are seem a lot more intelligent now. They're doing a lot more natural things. Anthony's literally done nothing all game, so he needs to do something. Oh, what a strike, but couldn't quite beat Ramsdale. And the attack fizzling out. Well, I think everybody inside the ground thought that was the winner, but Ramsdale has just pulled off a brilliant save to keep his team in this one. Oh, no way. Taking piece of goalkeeping, can they keep the ball and create? Jorginho. Ooh. Arsenal trying to get the late victory. Oh, and they have. And they've done it. The Saliba. Man, that is so disappointing, man. Look at the way they're celebrating like they won the Champions League. But fair enough, man. That 90 minute goal, you've got to celebrate that. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And then oh, what man, it's looking like I'm going to have to well. take this out. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little. That was a poor it's save by goal. Onana. I don't know what he's playing at there. You literally touched the ball and you've turned it into the goal. Like, literally, you've already pivoted your body. So it ends up in the goal. I'm not really sure what, what he's playing at, but. So now I'll take this L. So, all right. The, the, the squad's playing terrible anyway, so it's to be expected. So if I can get a late goal. Marshall, you've literally done nothing since you've come on. Try and do something. 
but really sticking to the task defensively. Oh man, I have to take this L. It's not a great feeling, but it is what it is. Arsenal just a better team. Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him. Anyway, guys, that is a look at FC24. Um, they have definitely made a, a little bit of a step up in, in visuals and the game feels smooth to play. So all in all, if you like football, you enjoy football. It's going to be a decent game. But um, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.